In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the AC condenser on this Mercedes E350. Let's get into it. Before you start this job, you need to bring the vehicle to a local shop to have the refrigerant extracted from the vehicle. Underneath, we'll take this shield off, use an eight millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. Take these two bolts out, use an eight millimeter socket. And do the same on the other side. I'll take this panel down. I'll just grab this panel and slide it up. It is pushed in and there's some clips on the back. We're gonna take these air intake tubes and just pull these out. Slides out, do that on both sides. Take this weather strip off right here. Just pull up and just fold it back. You don't have to take it off completely. That's good. There's two bolts behind this bracket. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Get behind there. bolts out. Then that's loose. On the side, these three bolts use a 10 millimeter socket. Do the same on the other side. There's two push pins on the side. Take these out, just use a trim tool. Pop the center piece up first. Pull it out. Now grab the bracket and slide it up. There's a cable that's attached right here. It's just clipped on. Just unclip it, just like that, and slide the bracket away. On the sides, there's two push pins. Take these off with a trim tool, one here right underneath the horn. Oops, pull that one out as well. If you need to, you can remove the horn. There's just a 10 millimeter nut in there, but you don't have to, you can work around it. Just push this back. Now slide this out. This is gonna come up. Do the same on the other side. Just using a screwdriver. Oh, there is a little clip on the side. Pop that clip off, pulls out. And this piece slides out. We're gonna take these two push pins out. I'm just using a trim tool. Slide those out. On the sides, I'm just using some pliers. Just squeeze these clips. That slides out, this part slides down. Just pull that out, do the same on the other side. Just twist it out. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna put it on the nut right there and then a five millimeter hex key. Loosen this up. It's a good idea to wear safety glasses. Because we had the uh, refrigerant extracted though, there shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any pressure in here. There might be some vacuum, but just be careful. I'll just loosen this up a little and break this free.
take that nut off. Just use a screwdriver, just pry in here. Carefully pry this back. There we go. A little bit of vacuum. Slide that back out of the way. Oh, you might have some fluid dripping out, a little bit of oil. Be careful, don't get that on the paint. We're gonna pull this cooler out of the way. Just squeeze these tabs, just with some pliers. Same on the other side. And just slide this out of the way a little bit. And further up, you can see where the condenser is attached. Squeeze those tabs. All right, that's loose. And then do the same on the other side. That's released. And just slide the condenser down. Get these hoses out of the way. Stuck right here. There we go. And it slides right down. You're going to need to add some AC oil. Depending on your vehicle, you can drain the old one out and add about a half an ounce to an ounce. Depending on how much fluid came out. Just add a little to this side. And I'm gonna tip it upside down for a little bit, get all the oil to drain down in there. And get the lower brackets in first. Line it up up top. And just lock it in place. If you have to, you can always lower the vehicle. And just lubricate the seals, get those seals started. Push that in. Just so none of the oil drips out. And just from up top, it's easier to push that in. That's good. Slide this cooler back in position. Get that lined up. Lock that in place. That's good. Put this nut on. And just snug that down. Slide this panel in place. It's gonna go underneath. that in place. Do the same on the other side. That's clipped in. Take the push pins, get those lined up, and push those down. Go. 
push those down. Now I take this piece, and I'll slide it in, I'll go be behind the horn, get that lined up. Push that in to the radiator. Do the same on the other side. All right, that's good. Put the push pins in the side, lock them down. Push that in. Take this bracket, slide the cable into the little brackets. That's good. And line these up on the sides with the radiator. That's good there. That's good there. Get all these screws started on the side. And these bracket in the front, put those two screws in. And those are all in, now we can tighten them all down. Weather strip is going to go back. It's good. I'll put the air ducts in, get those lined up. Same on the other side. Uh, take this panel and line it up. Get that lined up and get the screws started. And tighten these all down. this cover, line it up, and lock it in place. After you're done this repair, you want to bring the vehicle to a local shop to have the refrigerant reinstalled in the system. When only the best will do, demand TRQ.
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.